How many times can you fold a single piece of paper with a thickness of 0,1 millimeters? There's an old claim that you cannot fold the paper in half more than seven times. Let's find out if it's true. You can try this at home too. Take a single piece of ordinary copy paper, 0,1 millimeters thick, and fold it once. How many layers do you have? One fold equals two layers, and the thickness becomes 0,2 millimeters. Fold it a second time, and you have four layers with a thickness of 0,4 millimeters. Keep folding the paper. The third fold, eight layers with a thickness of 0,8 millimeters. The fourth fold, 16 layers with a thickness of 1,6 millimeters. The fifth fold, 32 layers with a thickness of 3,2 millimeters. The sixth fold, 64 layers with a thickness of 6,4 millimeters. And the seventh fold would have 128 layers with a thickness of 12,8 millimeters. At this point, most people would not be able to fold the paper for the seventh time, and a geometric sequence formed by folding the paper can explain why. The limitation on paper folding has a mathematical reasoning. Since the paper doubles with each fold, you end up with the following geometric sequence. As you keep folding the paper, you form a geometric sequence with a constant ratio of 2. So by the sixth fold, you already have 64 layers with a thickness 64 times the original sheet of paper of 0,1 millimeters. By the seventh fold, the paper would be as thick as a notebook. The thickness of the paper itself forms a geometric sequence with a constant ratio of 2. 0,1 millimeters, 0,2 millimeters, 0,4 millimeters, 0,8 millimeters, 1,6 millimeters, 3,2 millimeters, 6,4 millimeters, and 12,8 millimeters. If the paper could continue to be folded by the 24th fold, it would be over one kilometer high. And if it were possible to fold it 42 times, you'd form a stairway to the moon. The limitation on paper folding has a mathematical reasoning. The thickness of the paper layers grows exponentially and the width of the paper decreases with each fold. So the smaller and thicker the paper is, the fewer times you can fold it in half. When folded multiple times, the paper becomes much smaller, especially compared to its increasing thickness. The paper also gets distorted as its creases become more rounded with each fold. Eventually, the paper fibers themselves aren't flexible enough to allow further folds. Many people have tried to prove that it is possible to fold a single piece of paper in half more than seven times. Some have managed eight folds with a hydraulic press. Some even managed more, but this was only achieved without restrictions placed on the initial thickness of paper or the length of the paper used. In 2002, Brittany Gallivan, a 17-year-old high school student in the United States, took up the challenge and managed to fold a single roll of toilet paper of the length 1,2 kilometers and thickness 0,1 millimeters 12 times. The mathematically significant part of her accomplishment was not the geometric progression of a folding sequence, but the detailed analysis which showed why geometric sequences have practical limits that prevent them from expanding. Brittany discovered, through experimentation, that for a high number of folds, folding in a single direction required less paper. She derived an equation to calculate the width or length of paper needed to fold a piece of paper of thickness t n times. She solved the seemingly impossible challenge and in one day set the record for folding paper in half 9, 10, 11 and 12 times. So if you could fold a single piece of paper in half 13 or 14 times, you will gain online fame and become the next paper folding champ. Up for the challenge?